Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. And once again, it's time for an upper body day. And I started the workout off with an easy training max. Um, I know I was doing a little heavier on these last week, uh, but I just felt today as I was ramping up, I'm like, ah, let's just work at 315. And I want to grip it as wide as I possibly can, do a nice long pause, right? I wanted at least a three second pause. That was probably four seconds. And I got, want you guys to notice that I am pretty much at the limits of meat legal grip there. Right, like my hands are almost actually on the J hooks. Uh, so the idea there is I want to I want to really work on on building my chest more and more with the benching. And as I've said previously, if I feel like I'm stronger with a with an arching later or whatever I need to do uh, for maxing, I can always do that. But I want these training maxes uh, to kind of be indicative of what I'm doing with my rep work, and I want to uh, get that little bit of heavy work to really stretch my chest. Because again, right now, the training is really, other than my three training maxes, three three big lifts, right? Because I do four training maxes a week, one for each workout. Everything else is volume. Although I did hit some sixes today on incline because that's, that's what I can handle with the weight. Uh, most of my training is gonna be 10 plus. So to start it off, I did three super sets of weighted chins with nice wide grip benching. Again, taking that benching as wide as I can. Uh, doing it flat back, tremendous pump in my chest and front delts. And then after each set, I did a set of chins. And I decided I don't want to try to go crazy heavy on these. I want to keep these at at least eight reps. And I can do eight reps with this weight. All right. So again, uh, everything is, is going to be bicep oriented. I want people to, to understand that when it comes to the back training right now. My back is my best body part. My lats will grow from pretty much any of this heavy work. I can let all of my lat work be bicep work. My arms are my worst body part, okay? So it makes sense to do that. Now, people would say, but what about the benching? Why are you doing it all so wide then? Because uh, I feel like benching even close grip didn't build massive uh, triceps for me. My triceps were didn't look much bigger or bigger at all when I was close gripping 365 versus now. Yes, benching and pressing does contribute towards triceps, but I need to just get in and hammer the tricep work consistently at the end. So I'm just going to let the benching build my chest and build my delts. So we're going to do it all wide and then we'll finish up with triceps. And I'll make sure that I get enough tricep volume to get there. But uh, biceps, biceps, biceps are going to be my number one priority as far as hypertrophy. Obviously, we want everything to grow and then obviously continue to get leaner. Um, and no, I'm not cutting now. I'm going to recomp for a bit. And then if need be, I'll ease back into a small deficit and keep trimming everything down. But I feel like I'm in a good position at the moment to where uh, we can recomposition a little bit. I do want to gain some muscle in the right places. And I do feel like I can lose fat where I'm at. Um, and again, continue to, to tighten everything up. But yeah, there'll, there'll come a time probably soon to where I say, okay, now I want to trim down another, you know, another five or six pounds, right? But we're pretty much holding steady at 218 at the moment. Uh, since I had, had raised carbs back a little while back, uh, which again, I'm eating higher carbs, my weight went back up to that. I know I was down to 214 on lower carbs. But uh, again, the high carb, low fat setup will let me potentially recomposition a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. So that's one reason some of the lifts are going back up a little bit here. Right, We're getting stronger at some of it. Uh, and again, if you guys notice the back, this is why. If you guys watch my back when I walk up to all these lifts, this is why I can let my back work be bicep dominant now. So everything's going to be supine grip. Um, I wasn't real happy with the barbell curls last time, so I'm like, let's just go back to those supine dumbbell curls at the end of this to really finish it off, make sure I can get the good range of motion. Uh, so that's kind of what I did. So we did two underhand grip back exercises throughout the workout, and then... Then we went over and did dumbbell curls, and, and I just kept them in a supine position. Uh, so those chins were all sets of eight. On the incline, I'm like, let's grab the 225. Let's try to grip it real wide. And sets of six kind of felt like all I could handle. I know last time I did, only did two sets. I did a six, and I managed to squeeze out eight. But today, the sixes felt pretty challenging. Um, and usually, I need a second set to kind of get in my groove. I've noticed that with incline. Uh, that my second set tends to be stronger than my first. And I don't know why that is. It's just the nature of this exercise for me. So uh, we did sixes and then we did the supersets with the uh, Yates rows, which again is, is just an underhand grip bent over row. All right. Uh, but on these, I did not have to regrip it. 
so my grip is getting used to this. I'm learning how to grip it correctly. I managed to get three sets of 10 on this without having to set it down this time. Uh, and I think this is the first time I've successfully done all three sets of 10 with this without having to regrip. Uh, and I felt tremendous pump in my lats, upper back, biceps, everything got worked really hard there. Same thing with the with the incline. Even even though I managed to get eight on one of the sets last time, we did more total volume on this with a three by six. And I want to just keep working with 225. I feel like I, I can get the rep count up with this, right? I can get the rep count up. And I know I'm going a little wider than I, I did even previously when I've hit my, my best ever sets on this in the past. So again, I'm trying to make sure I'm really hammering that chest. I want this to build my upper chest and, and my delts. Um, and as far as the delts go, yeah, the delts I, I'm not worried about. I feel like my delts will grow just fine from rows and incline. I'm not worried. Arms, arms, arms are going to be the priority. You know, so we do this basic pushing and pulling uh, with a bias towards biceps in it. And then the pressing will be chest bias, but then we'll finish up with, a, with some really, really tremendously hard tricep work. But all these sets today, these were super hard. Everything was done within about one rep up from failure. Um, even the rows, because um, again, these are a little bit cheaty, so I can kind of tell when I'm running out of steam, because uh, I'm using a little bit of body English on these. But the incline, yeah, absolutely, the final set, the final set of this, that, that sixth rep was hard. Like, it was a zero rep in reserve. And again, it's just me knowing where my strength is. And people say, well, you could have maybe ground that one more with terrible form and shifting and everything. And that's not what we want to do. That doesn't count, right? People will do that and think that's that's one rep in reserve. If your form breaks, that's you've hit failure, okay? If you're having to grind and shift under a weight and you can't maintain the same form and lock it, you reached muscle failure. So no, this is, this is a zero rep in reserve. See that when I pause it and then it moves slower. If I had tried to do another rep, it would have been a crazy grind with form breakdown, which would, would be failure. So I count that as a zero rep in reserve, and it was hard. Um, all right, then the, sorry guys, I'm not gonna turn the AC off, it's getting warm in here, the AC just cut on. Um, hopefully it's not too loud in the background. But yeah, then these went good. Uh, I felt a lot of a lot of back, a lot of bicep, super happy with it. Uh, but the grip is doing really well on these now, which means my recovery is in a good place. Uh, but yeah, the rows felt great. So then the triceps, these were hard. All three of these sets were brutally hard. I felt the third one felt better because I had to get in my groove because I'm trying to do these as a full laying, not a skull crusher. Getting that groove right is hard because I'm trying to do all out sets of 10. And these these are pretty much limit sets. Um, and the heaviest weight I've ever used on these, right? And I think even previously, I don't think I've gone quite this heavy and managed to get three sets of 10 like I'm doing now. So again, pushing those triceps extremely hard and they don't need a lot of volume, you know, every, and that's what I'm learning for me. The ultra high volume is not working. Like 10, 12 to 15 sets of muscle group tops. And if they're hard sets, you will grow. So it's things like chest and back get 12 sets, the arms get more, right? So we're coming in, adding the extra arm work. All right, these felt good, these were hard. So I was happy with how these felt today. So again, just doing a nice, clean, full range of motion uh, dumbbell curl and just maintaining a supine grip. Let's just build the biceps. You know, and as far as brachialis and radial brachialis, what I've found with all this other work I'm doing, I noticed they still cramp and get a little sore the same day. So that area is still working, even though everything is underhand grip, but we're making sure the biceps get hit. Um, this second set of the extensions, I felt like I couldn't quite get my groove right. I could barely finish the set. Like it felt harder than the last set. But part of it was was the groove wasn't perfect. At least it felt like for me. But the load on the triceps was crazy. It felt like every rep on this was hard, even from the first rep. And it, as I was doing these, I couldn't believe I got to 10. Like I didn't think I'd be able to get there. I think the only reason I did is the last little bit, I kind of paused at the stretch at the bottom. <laughs> Even though we're in a stretched position there, it almost let my triceps get a break. Um, it, that's what it felt like and I was doing it, but watching it on camera now, because I haven't looked that close at the footage, I realize it doesn't look like that. I can't believe the set looked that clean. Like I felt like I was straining and grinding and almost flopping on that set. Uh, but again, it's a lot of weight for me. And even these, these supine curls, this is a little heavier than I was doing on these last time I did these. Um, as far as the rep count, I think I got like eight last time I tried to do these. So this is good. That means the biceps are getting stronger. And I did all that underhand grip work first. 
Um, so I'll take this as a good sign. I feel like my arms are getting stronger, all right? Arms are getting stronger, so that's a good sign. That means there's some growth possibly happening because they've got to get bigger. I mean, realistically, I say I need to add an inch to my arms, but to be completely proportionate with like my back and especially if my chest gets bigger, I don't know if that's going to be enough. So I'm just going to keep working the arms. Uh, and then I think as my waistline gets smaller, as I trim a little off later, they'll look bigger on top of it. But they, I'm going to just double down on the arm work. And instead of trying to just do endless pump sets, I'm like, let's just come in, hit a few really hard, high quality sets at the end of picking the right compound movements. Okay. Now that set of extensions felt good. My triceps were lit. They were hurting. The whole tricep felt lit up. Same thing here, I managed to squeeze out one more rep. Those last two were real close. This one I went ahead and took to failure. So I think I got like 13 instead of 12. Um, again, felt a great contraction in the biceps. So all the arm work today, it, it felt on point. I felt like my arms got work really hard, even with a limited number of sets. So I did this and then I chose to uh, finish up with one set of high rep band press downs because again all that heavy extension work I'm like man I need to keep those tendons healthy so I wanted just one good set just to get some blood flow to the area so I just did one one set of these to failure just to make sure my tricep tendons stay healthy uh, and to get some blood flow to it all right guys but that's really all I have to say on that today I hope it's been informative and I'll talk to you guys next time